Multi Retro Map presents. A review. Have you ever wanted to play Amiga games on your PC using the an emulator or something? You know, to take you back to the nostalgia days? Well, I have, and I've been using an emulator for quite a long time. However, I've just seen a new one, and it's brilliant. Lately, the uh, emulation scene's been doing quite well. Um, I've been a big fan of an Amiga computer for quite a long time. Amiga 500, 1200, they're brilliant little machines. Well, they were. Um, compared to, like, nowadays to PCs, you know, they're not really a patch on them. However, this video is to help you decide if you wanted to use an emulator on a PC, which one to go for. Now, the most common one, which everybody tends to use, is Win UAE. Okay. Now, that has got a rating on this thing eh, of 7.8 out of 57 votes. Okay. However, I've just found this one. FS UAE. Open source one. And it's got a rate of 7.6 out of 33 votes. However, this is video is going to show you why I prefer this one to the others. Okay, so first to discuss about Win UAE. Um, the good thing is it's very configurable. You know, you've got lots of different options on the left hand side. However, if you're just starting out, you may not, or if you don't know a lot about Amigas, it could be a bit confusing, a bit sort of too much for you, if you like. One thing you need to be careful of or aware of as well is that you need ROM, uh, Kickstart ROM files, which you can get from various websites, which I'm not going to go into in this, you know, I'll tell you, you need to find that out for yourselves. However, one of the issues uh, I found with the emulation part um, is certain games don't always run perfectly. Okay, so first of all, you've got to put the floppy disk in, and in this case, it's going to be Pac-Mania. I've got it and it'll show up on there as Pac-Man. Now the next thing to do is click start. Now I've already pre-configured this to uh, the best that it can really be on this on the system. So here we go. So it loads up, black file, uh, sorry, not black file, full screen. And the usual sort of uh, when you're starting the win, you know, the uh, Amiga. And it loads, there's a screen up. Fine, no problem. That you can, they have got an option as well that you can actually listen to the uh, the sound of the actual uh, file starting. As you can tell, I'm using the... Uh... Okay, so here we go. So, click one to start. And it's pre it's already found out, or it's worked out, that I've got a joystick, or joypad rather, enabled on here. Don't worry about the flickering, that's just how it is on the screen. It's, it doesn't look like that on the screen at all. It's perfectly fine on a laptop or whatever. And then I've turned the drawing very low because I'm expecting a parcel delivery, but here you go. Now one thing what you'll see on here, which really bugs me when it loads up. So this is like obviously in real time, like with a normal floppy disk. Now it's, you see that you probably might be able to hear music, I'm not sure. But you see there, look, the shadow on Pac-Man is wrong. Okay? That's totally wrong. However, however, with F FSUAE launcher, this one works slightly different. You have a start button there. So, I'm not bothered with all the other, same as the other one. So, when we get onto the game, you'll see. Same loading screen. Same title screen. Same selection screen. Same in your screen there and here you can see there that is exactly what it should look like shadow to the bottom left hand corner and when you look at the whole screen it's actually a much much better emulation than the other one it's the, the graphics are correct um the sounds perfect i mean you know the problem the graphical thing as well is a, 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 an issue with the other ones but um I do prefer this emulator actually. Pressing pressing the twelve F twelve key um gives you various options on here. So you've got like pause, load state, save state, reset amiga, um removable media. Now that's quite useful if you've got like uh, a game that runs on say four discs, you can use that. Uh in fact I'll just show you. You've got an option on the disc which says multi-select. So if you select that, 
apologize for the delay because I'm, I'm using sort of holding that as well. There you go. So you've got multi-select. Now, if you sort of scroll along and you've got more than one, one game that you want to use, like, say, Road Rash, for example, you can click on that one. And I'm just doing this while I'm holding it. So you've got there. So you select two, click on open, and then you've got there, media swap list. So what that then enables you to do is when you start the game, um, you've got an option, like I showed you before, uh, with the discs. But, it does it on here. You see there, you've now got disc one of two. So, disc one is in disc one drive, disc two is in drive two, or the intern, you know, the external drive, as you would say, and that's the internal drive. However, if you wanted to put the, when you want to put disc two in there, what you can do, you choose the option there and you can choose eject or just choose disc two of two. So if I try and do disc two now, it's probably not going to work right anyway. But that is then saying, right, okay, I've taken the other disc out and I've put disc two in, which is a lot easier than the other one. Uh, well, that, that's as easy as I've found it, to be honest. Because the other, with the other uh, UAE emulator, the other UAE emulator, you tend to have to go onto the option to then choose the disc and then pick the disc again rather than a selection like you've got there um and i do find that even you know it, that's more convenient plus the actual emulator software or the emulation if you like is much more accurate than the other one again with graphical things speed um it is so much better so i highly recommend the other, this other option the fsuae launcher Again, it's probably not as well. It is configurable as well. Uh, sorry, more configurable if you like the other one, possibly. But this one has got loads more options here, and to be to be honest, it's better for the novice if you're not quite sure what you want to play, because it'll work pretty much as soon as you load it. Cause it uses its its own uh, little ROM if you haven't got the real ROMs. Um, obviously, some of the games don't work as well, but. On the whole, it's an absolutely superb emulator, and I really, really highly recommend it if you uh, if you want to play Amiga emulators on your PC, laptop, or whatever. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, give a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I'd like to do some live things uh, at some point, and I need a thousand subscribers, so that'd be great. What do you think? Mm. Yes, I agree. Mm.